Hi everyone and welcome to week three. This week we are studying probably the most influential text to come out of the Middle Ages, um, the Canterbury Tales and the father of um, modern English as we know it and the father of um, kind of English literature, Geoffrey Chaucer. And I know that I said that we were going to have a choice of which of this which of of three tales that we would read but i don't know what i was thinking i had barely enough time to kind of put together one lecture let alone three so i have chosen i made the executive uh, decision to um, have us all read the nun's priest's tale and um i have provided a copy of both the general prologue and um, the nun's priest's tale um, beneath this little instruction, you'll you'll see that they're labeled um, General Prologue and Nun's Priest Tale um, full text. So you'll have access to a copy of these modern translations because your textbook, sorry, your textbook only has um, the Middle English um, version of the General Prologue and omits the Nun's Priest tale entirely. So um, you'll have access to those um, in the this week's module. The other thing that I want to note is I'm not asking you to read the entirety of the general prologue unless you, you know, choose to and it excites you, that kind of thing. Um, I am asking you, however, to familiarize yourself with the first 42 lines of the poem and to really pay attention to the description of the characters that I outline in the um, general prologue overview. So please listen to that lecture, pay attention to that lecture, uh, because it's really hard to understand um, the Canterbury Tales and the Nun's Priest Tale without understanding the general framework that the general prologue establishes. So um, take a look at that. You are responsible for um, a discussion board and much like last week's discussion board, I've broken you into three groups and you each have um, each member of your group will choose one of, of the prompts to kind of explore and elaborate. Um, so take a look at those, take a look at the lectures. Um, I really enjoyed the nun's priest tale and the story of Chanticleer and the fox and the um, real kind of complexities that come from this seemingly um, simple fable, if you will. Um, also, please take the opportunity to look at the historical context because um, those are significant in noting and they are relevant and significant to your understanding of the nun's priest tale. And um, let me know if you have any questions, comments, or concerns about this week in the assignments. Um, I'm looking forward to hearing what you guys have to say about uh, Chaucer and um, the Nun's Priest Tale. So I hope you guys have a great week. Please feel free to email me if you have any questions, comments, or concerns.